There could be no sweeter melody. No it kidding. Is as if this music delivered the Guado from our unhappy fate. Reviled by all of Spira, most of my people decided to forsake Guado Salam. Those of us who remained until the very end eventually tired of our miserable fortune and fled to Makalania. Oh, get over we yourself! Wither away together with the woods. That is when we met our musical friends. They too were prepared to fade away with their beloved Makalania woods. Yet hearing them perform, I felt a quickening in my blood. I was quite moved. I could not stand by and let such exquisite music be extinguished. After consulting with the other Guado, I decided to bring them home to Guado Salam. Not a single Guado objected. It's been many years since I've seen such solidarity among my people. <sighs> Surely this music was the salve that healed our weary hearts. The song is so good, it actually becomes relevant to the plot. I am quite aware of Lorenzo's hatred for the Guado. If they were to attack tomorrow, I would neither run nor hide. If they asked to talk, I would talk. Were they to take my life, I would give it willingly. Not the Ronso. They don't want bloodshed. Right, because they're elders on top of things. That is auspicious news. The Guado, too, must choose a new leader. What about you? Preposterous. I will never be remembered for anything but my service under Lord Jiskel and Lord Seymour. Ah, quit your belly aching! You'd make a fine leader! You guided us to salvation without any concern for your own safety. You shall resolve worthy of a leader. But my strength came from your music. You're wrong. The music only helped you unlock your own inner strength. You, you really think so? Then I will work these old bones as best I can for my beloved Guado. If you're ever feeling weary, we'll play a song to make you cheery. We're not done in Guado Salam yet, though. Go back. I'm glad you're here. Please, please feel free to take anything you need. What is this place? This was to be the final resting place for the memories of the Guado. Before leaving, we carefully stored away those things we had passed down for generations. I'm told that some of us stole back here for a nostalgic glance at lost time. Even the most unassuming of memories can console a wounded spirit. In that case, I shouldn't take anything. On the contrary, 
My lady's path leads to a bright tomorrow. The Quarter would be honored if you used their past to shape Spira's future. Are you the Lady Yuna? Wait, you don't recognize yes. her? She's the most I famous person in Spira. She they saved the world. You better you. recognize her. Damn right really? she's Lady Yuna. Your friends? Yeah. I heard the Ronso hate us, but Leon and Aid were really friendly. What accent oh, are you going for? This is for you. Aid gave it to me. For me? Yeah, they gave me tons more like it. Leon told me the story of Lady Yuna and the Ronso Elder. Now that I've met you, I think I want to go meet the Elder too. Besides, Leon and Aid promised me that we could climb their mountain together. There lies Spear. What does Tetra Bracelet do? Let's go watch the sphere. <laughs> the song is called Eternity Memory of Light Waves or something. is no more. Maester Keenock betrayed us. And my friends, they turned on me as well. I have no place else to go. Then why do you come to me? I too am a Maester of Yevon. I don't suppose Maester Keenock and a certain other Maester might be vying for power behind the scenes. So an enemy of an enemy is a friend. I will not fail you. Very well. I will take you under my wing. Consider any record of your association with the Crimson Squad erased. You have my thanks. I will go into hiding until the time is right. Who knows what he might be planning? I can use him. Like the High Summoner's daughter. I don't recall asking your opinion. Uh, Did I mention I am evil? Who was recording this? And why? The what reason would they have to record this? Now then, shall we begin preparations to welcome my lord's future wife? Very well.
The Guado who sought shelter in these woods have returned to home to Guado Salam. They were accompanied by Makalania's other races who had already begun to fade away with this place. Alas, these woods have grown far too quiet. The woods are so empty. I guess this place doesn't have much time left. Kinda sad to think that all of this will be gone, huh? At least, we have our memories. Hey guys, mind giving me a moment alone? Why? Mm-hmm. Got it. Come on, Pain. Uh sure. Ready to call this just a memory. Not yet. We're not done there. A second episode complete here. Yeah. 
dear sorry bum back here. He cast away the family business and ran off for the hills. Gone a whole year ye were. And he called yourself a waka the 24th. But, but you opened the store again without even telling me. Why, I only left back then because my job was gone. Well, I couldn't help it. I got an itch for peddling, I did. Oh, get in here. Don't want you catching cold. Brother? I'm right ready to pound some business sense into that hapless head of yours. But this doesn't strike me as the best place for getting customers. Don't be a thunderhead. Open your eyes, lad. Maybe he failed to notice our biggest customer has just graced us with her presence. Lady Yuna! Now's your chance to practice, lad. Do it just like I taught ye. All right. Well, welcome to Owakas. You buffoon! Put some spine into it, lad! Follow me, example. Welcome to Owakas! Ahem, <clears throat> welcome to Owakas. Welcome to Wakas! Welcome to Wakas! Wakas, welcome to. Ah, that's not right. Read my lips. Welcome to a Wakas! Welcome to a Wakas! Read your lips. Welcome to a Wakas. That's not how it goes. I didn't ask ye! Everything's returned to normal, I guess. Hmm, she sounds so different and cute on that last line. I guess. Yeah. 